Blue Eyes White Dragon Attack with White Lightning. The series premiere of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links starts right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to one of the most complicated trading card games ever created. Yes, I am talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and it's Konami's latest cash grab, I mean, video game experience, combining all of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series into one online, cloud-based video game. As usual, I'm your host, Scott. I will be trying to guide you through all of this and much, much more. But first, what is Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, if you're watching this premiere episode right now on Toon Dice, you already know what it is. It's a game that involves monsters, spells, traps, and it's essentially like chess, except with cards. Ever since Pokemon TCG Online came out, I am certain other companies like Konami saw the opportunity there was to create an online video game experience um, revolving around the original real-life card game equivalents, and that's what we have here, and uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go over a couple of the basics of this video game first, and then we are going to kick off this premiere with a bunch of PvP duels, and I hope I don't end up losing a lot of them, because uh, the competitive metagame is fierce, let me tell you. So first off, in Duel Links you've got three different worlds as of right now. You've got the main Yu-Gi-Oh world. As you can see, I'm currently at stage 46. Different areas here. Then we've got the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX world. Of which I'm currently at stage 26. Again, same idea. You can switch between these different areas at the bottom of the screen. And last but not least, we have the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds world. And I am currently at the lowest stage, stage 20 out of all three areas. So anyways, the point is, um, in the regular Yu-Gi-Oh! world, it maxes out at stage 60. Uh, in both GX and 5Ds, uh, the stage rank maxes out at 30. Every time you complete missions, you can advance the stage rank, and you get different item rewards from doing that. Uh, I would say the most valuable currency in this online game is gems, because you can exchange your gems for free booster packs at the in-game shop. Uh, but it's a little bit different than the Pokémon TCG Online, because in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, you can actually get a lot of gems very quickly, very easily, and without having to spend any money. Whereas with PTCGO, primarily you got them through buying real-life packs and then entering code cards, um, or just spending real money um, in the in-game uh, virtual store. Um, so, 
In some ways, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is actually better than PTCGO, especially when it comes to constant updates, events, competitive, uh, metagame, tournaments. Uh, but in other ways, it's worse, and a lot of that has to do with the microtransactions. Especially because this game in particular, just like a lot of other games, but I want to say more so in Duel Links, it's really pay to win. If you have the money, you spend it buying a bunch of gems and booster packs from the online store, and you really expand your card collection to compete in online tournaments, and uh, yeah, that's the gist of it. So, the other thing I wanted to mention um, before we jump into the PvP duels here, in each world, uh, you actually have different characters, and in the regular Yu-Gi-Oh! world, um, the characters max out at level 45. In GX, it's the same. And in 5Ds, currently, uh, the level cap is 30. Um, but as you win duels, not only are you trying to advance the stage rank in the world, you're also gaining experience to level up your characters, because each character has different level up rewards, and many of those level up rewards include free gems, which again, you can use to exchange for booster packs at the shop. So, the faster you level up the characters, the faster you level up the stage ranks, the more gems you can get for free, and as a result, the faster you can expand your card collection and really get into the competitive meta. So anyways, enough talking, uh, we are going to get straight into the PvP duels. First off though, I do want to show you the strategy I'll be using. It's one of the most used strategies, at least until Konami changes the banned and limited list. And you probably already know what it is, uh, Aster Phoenix is the character I'm using, and yeah, it's the Destiny Hero strategy. This is the deck that I currently have. Yes, it's not perfect, I am working towards updating it with some extra cards, uh, which I'll need to get from the shop, but uh, the main use out of this deck, obviously, is you want to get Destiny Heroes out quickly, use Mask Change, that way I can bring out Masked Hero and Key, 2800 attack, uh, it can also attack the opponent directly as well, and a couple Cyclones to destroy spells and traps, also Vision Hero Witch Raider to do that as well, and uh, a couple of trap cards too here, although personally from my own experience I'm gonna try to add some more Drowning Mirror Forces and replace Wall of Disruption. Uh, just because of the fact it seems Wall of Disruption is becoming less and less useful now. Uh, and also the skill I have set is Balance, um, which means as long as I have at least 6 monsters, 6 spells, and 6 traps in my deck, uh, I will get a more balanced uh, ratio out of my starting hand. Uh, whereas otherwise, if I didn't have this skill, uh, most likely I would just draw up like three or four spells um, or three or four traps or monsters and it, it would really make it a lot more difficult to win. Um, so, uh, that being said, let's get straight into the PvP action here. So we're heading into the Ranked Duels Arena. And uh, Ranked Duels uh, also has uh, a bunch of rewards. These re rewards uh, reset uh, every month. So you get card tickets, you can then exchange those for specific cards, and also number of victories uh, also gets you a bunch of rewards as well. Um, again, including gems. So... Everyone is obviously trying to reach this rank, King of Games. But it's really hard. I think the highest I ever got to was Legendary Rank 2. I could never get to King of Games. I'm still trying, though. A lot of it does depend on luck. Okay, our first opponent is from the U.S. of A. Mako, which means usually it's a water deck involving Citadel Whale. But let's see what happens. You're about to find out why I'm a pro and you're an amateur. 
You're going to be all washed up. The future is predetermined. And it's destiny that my heroes will guide me to victory. <laughs> I have never turned down a challenge. Duel! My turn! Okay, so this isn't the best scenario, because ideally I would actually want to go second in this case, but... Let's make the best out of it. Check out Destiny Hero Celestial! I'm setting a card. I set a card. I'm ending my turn. My turn. I draw. I set a card. I set a card face down. I set a card. I'll teach you to stay out of the waters. I summon a monster in attack position. My turn is complete! My destiny heroes are far superior to the elemental heroes. My turn. I draw. Okay, so I don't want to use polymerization right now because I can use Celestial's effect to get rid of Umi here, so... Let's go ahead and, uh... Try and do that first, so I'm gonna put Drill Dark face down just as a precaution. I set a monster. Let's battle. I attack with Celestial. You're probably wondering why I just did that. It's because I want Celestial in the graveyard. Celestial, show him your effect. I shall turn the tides. I flip over my face down card. My continuous trap activates. Ooh, mirror wall. How exciting. Not really. Oof. Uh. Okay. And yeah, I can actually use a mass change right now, so let's do that. I reveal my face down card. I activate a quick play spell. That way I don't take 900 points of damage. Here it comes. I special summon a monster. Okay. I don't want to attack just yet, because even if I attack directly, then... My attack will be cut in half, so I'll just end it at that. I'm ending my turn. <laughs> my turn. I draw. What? Let's battle. Behold! I attack with a monster! That's shocking! He didn't want to take 2,000 life points as damage? Not gonna happen. Here's my face down card. My trap activates. Ah! That was nothing! Nothing! My turn is complete! You'll see why I'm a pro. It's my turn. I draw. I like the way this is looking. Let's battle. T 
take them down. I attack with my monster. I caught you right in my net. Here's my face down card. My trap activates. Nice. Okay, I'll attack with Drill Dark. Go, Drill Dark! Pierce him! I caught you right in my net. Here's my face down card. I activate a quick play spell. Really? Good thing I drew mask change. From my hand, I activate a quick play spell. Come on out! I special summon a monster! Attack! Go! My monster attacks! You have taken my bait! My monster's effect activates! Dang, Sphere Karibo, I swear! I'm ending my turn. All right. My turn. I draw. I'll show you no mercy. I summon a monster in attack position. Let's battle. Here I go. I attack with a monster. Behold. My monster attacks your life points directly. Ugh. Nothing special. My turn is complete. My destiny heroes are far superior to the elemental heroes. My turn. I draw. Unbelievable. I'm setting a card. I'm setting a card. Celestial, show them your effect. Banish it. Hey, <sighs> can't get a break. Strut your stuff, Vision Hero Vion. I activate Vion's effect. Send the other Celestial to the graveyard. There. I set a card. Let's battle. Show him what you got, Vion! Attack! Ah! This duel is not over yet! I'm ending my turn. All right! My turn! I draw! Now is the perfect time! I summon a monster in attack position! My monster's effect activates! Oh, wise guy, huh? Is that supposed to scare me? Here's my face down card. My trap activates. My monster's effect activates. I'll show you no mercy. I special summon a monster. My monster's effect activates. Time to battle. Here I go. I attack with my monster. Ugh. Nothing special. My turn is complete. My destiny heroes are far superior to the elemental heroes. My turn. I draw. Ah, uh, I just can't get a break. I set a card. Uh. Looks like my first duel is going to be a loss. I'm ending my turn. <laughs> my turn. I draw. I set a card. 
Let's battle! There's a storm coming for you! I attack you directly with my monster! It's not over yet! That's the end of my turn! My fate isn't finished yet! My turn! I draw! Yep. My fate is finished. I needed another trap card. Hey. Uh, I end my turn. Nice. It's my turn. I shall draw. I set a card face down. Time to battle. A thousand apologies, but prepare for the worst. My monster attacks your life points directly. Ugh, whatever. Just a minor setback on my way to becoming the champ in the pro leagues. Dueling you was hungry work. Time for Mako to fish again. Gosh dang, Sphere Karibo! I had a good thing going, but no! It's like, I'm gonna activate Sphere Karibo from my hand, and ever since that move, everything went downhill. It, ah, geez. Anyways, now as you can see, I already have Aster maxed out a level 45. I had to do that because Destiny Draw was a level 40 reward. Um, but uh, yeah, I obviously I'm not getting any experience from this duel because I've hit the level cap. Uh, but I did get 15 keys for the gate. It's used to challenge legendary duelists at the gate for special cards. Yeah, that was definitely not the best way to kick off the episode, but let's see if I can redeem myself this time. Okay, our next opponent is from Japan. So I think we all know... Oh my god, it's another guy with makeup. Ugh. Prepare to be capsized. No mercy! I've already won. You're just choosing the method of your defeat. Prepare to sleep with the fishes! Duel! It's my turn! Ah, here we go again. Check out Destiny Hero Celestial! I set a card. I set a card. I'm ending my turn. My turn. I draw. I set a card face down. I set a card face down. I set a card face down. Okay. I was just going to say, maybe he's using a Destiny Hero strategy, otherwise why would he have five cards in his extra deck? My turn is complete! My Destiny Heroes are far superior to the Elemental Heroes. My turn! I draw! I caught you right in my net! Here's my face-down card! My Continuous Trap activates! Hmm. I did not know that. Okay. I thought I wouldn't be able to activate Mass Change, but apparently I can. Here's my face down card. I activate a quick play spell. I guess it's because I'm not... Oh, right, right. Yeah, this is Zing Zen Yu, not the replica, and that's why I can actually chain it. Give me your strength. I special summon a monster. Okay, um. I was just thinking. I could actually destroy all these, mind you. Hmm. Well, uh, let's save it for the moment. Strut your stuff, Vision Hero Vion! 
I activate Vion's effect. See, now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have activated Mass Change. I should have just tributed Vision Hero Witch Raider and then activate Mass Change. But oh well. Uh, not the end of the world. Let's battle. Show him what you got, Vion. Attack! I caught you right in my net. Here's my face down card. My trap activates. You have taken my bait. I flip over my face down card. I activate a quick play spell. I'm counting on you. I fusion summon a monster. Oh, God. Well... I can still attack him directly. Take him down. My monster attacks you directly. Ugh. This duel is not over yet. I'm ending my turn. <laughs> My turn. I draw. Let's battle. Here I go. I attack with the monster. Ugh. Lucky shot. My turn is complete. You'll see why I'm a pro. It's my turn. I draw. Ah, I could have used that trap hole earlier. When a spell card is activated, you can discard one card and negate it. Huh. Hmm. I'm just thinking here. I set a card. I activate Vion's effect. I set a card. Uh, I'm gonna say let's get rid of this. Look and learn. I tribute summon a monster. My monster's effect activates. Celestial, show him your effect! I'm setting a card. I'm ending my turn. <laughs> my turn. I draw. I activate a quick play spell. Hmm. I set a card. I set a card face down. My turn is complete. My destiny heroes are far superior to the elemental heroes. My turn. Well, we know what at least one of those cards is. I draw. Let's try something. I reveal my face down card. My trap activates. You have taken my bait. 
I flip over my face down card. My continuous trap activates. From my hand, I activate a spell. I caught you right in my net. Here's my face down card. I activate a quick play spell. I'm counting on you. I fusion summon a monster. Unbelievable. Ah. I'm ending my turn. All right. My turn. I draw. I activate a quick play spell. Let's battle. A thousand apologies, but prepare for the worst. My monster attacks your life points directly. Come on, Mirror Force. Don't make me laugh. Here's my face down card. My trap activates. Not gonna happen. My trap activates. Ah! I have been defeated! I can tell that you doubted yourself. If you don't believe in your moves, you can never become a true duelist. Oh my god! He forfeited! <laughs> it's a miracle! Wow. I have to be honest, I did not see that coming. All right. And with that being said, we are out of time for tonight. So two duels, which both took exceedingly long, uh, one win, one loss, uh, but uh, I do have to say uh, this is pretty typical of the competitive metagame in Duel Links. Um, as you can see though, two completely different people, one in the US, one in Japan, using the same character, Mako, um, but two totally different strategies altogether, one revolving around a water-type deck, um, probably Citadel Whale, except the guy never drew it, uh, and the other clearly using Buster Blader. Uh, but, yeah, I think uh, that pretty much surmises what this game is all about. Uh, next Thursday, I will be showing you the best way to level up your characters in this game, and the best way to spend money in this game, uh, if you do want uh, to spend money. Uh, you don't have to, because like I mentioned earlier, you can get gems for free um, just by spending a lot of time and repetition dueling the computer over and over again, completing mission rewards. Um, but uh, yeah, if you do want to spend money in this game, there is a good way to do it and there's a bad way to do it and I will go over both next time um, also I will be opening up some booster packs next time because as you can clearly see at the top here I've got over 9,400 gems the cap is 9,999 so it really gives me the perfect excuse to go into the in-game shop and get some brand new cards as well as some duplicate copies of powerful cards that I desperately need seconds and thirds of. So we will do all of that next week. Before you go, remember, if you enjoyed tonight's presentation, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help us out. If not, hit the dislike. Also, don't forget to chat with us on our brand new Discord server, and also visit our website at Toondice.com. The links are all down below. I will see you guys right back here one week from tonight, next Thursday. 87 Central for another all new episode of Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. Until then, 
As always, I'm Scott, and I will catch you guys later.